In the circuit shown below, the knee current of ideal Zener diode is 10 milliamps. Knee current of ideal Zener diode is 10 milliamps. To maintain 5 volts across the load resistance RL, the minimum value of RL, minimum value of RL in ohms and the minimum power rating of the Zener diode in milliwatts are respectively. So we have to calculate the minimum value of load resistance RL and minimum power rating of the Zener diode. The knee current of ideal Zener diode is 10 milliamps. So the first thing that I have to explain is the ideal Zener diode. What is the difference between normal Zener diode and ideal Zener diode? For this I will plot, I will plot VI characteristics of normal Zener diode Y axis is for Zener current, X axis is for voltage across the diode and I will plot the VI characteristics in reverse bias condition. The characteristic will look something like this. Once there is breakdown, heavy current will flow. This current, this current is called as IZK that is the knee current of the Zener diode and this voltage here is VZ that is the Zener voltage and the corresponding current is IZ that is the Zener current and this plot is for normal Zener diode. Now I will show the plot of ideal Zener diode. In case of ideal Zener diode, in case of ideal Zener diode, we have breakdown like this and this current IZK is equal to IZ minimum. This is the minimum Zener current. This voltage here is VZ and IZK is equal to IZ minimum and I will use this value, the minimum value of Zener current to find out the minimum load resistance and the knee current is given as 10 milliamps. So I can say that, I can say that the minimum value of Zener current is equal to 10 milliamps. IL is the load current, IR is the current in this branch, 100 ohm is the value of R, R is the current limiting resistance. This current is IZ, VZ is equal to 5 volts, VZ is equal to 5 volts, VI is equal to 10 volts, VI is equal to 10 volts and we have to calculate, we have to calculate RL minimum. When load resistance is minimum, this implies load current is maximum. When load resistance is minimum, this implies load current is maximum. And when load current is maximum, this implies Zener current is minimum. And if I apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node, applying Kirchhoff's current law, we have IR, we have IR equal to IZ plus IL. IL is maximum and IZ is minimum. IL is maximum and IZ is minimum. IR is equal to VI minus VZ divided by R. IZ minimum is equal to 10 milliamps and we have to calculate IL maximum so that we can calculate RL minimum. VI is equal to 10 volts, VZ is equal to 5 volts, R is equal to 100 ohms and this is equal to 10 milliamps plus IL max. When you solve this you have 50 milliamps and on right hand side we have 10 milliamps plus IL max. So simply IL max is equal to 40 milliamps. Now by using this value we can easily calculate RL minimum. RL minimum is equal to VL divided by IL maximum. VL is the voltage across the load resistance. VL is also equal to VZ. Both the voltages are measured across the same points. So VL is equal to VZ and we have VZ divided by IL max as the value of RL minimum. VZ is equal to 5 volts so we will divide 5 volts 
by 40 milliamps and when you solve this you have value of RL minimum equal to 125 ohms this is the answer now we have to calculate the minimum power rating of Zener diode the minimum power rating of Zener diode and it is equal to IZ maximum I Z maximum multiplied by V Z I Z maximum is equal to 50 milliamps because 50 milliamps 50 milliamps is equal to I Z plus I L I Z is maximum when I L is equal to 0 so I Z maximum is equal to 50 milliamps 50 milliamps multiplied by 5 volts and this is equal to 250 milliwatts so this is the answer for the second part of the problem the minimum value of load resistance is equal to 125 ohms and the minimum power rating of Zener diode is equal to 250 milliwatts so these are the two answers for the numerical problem if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one